said it would be. All over the world, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. All over his church, God's The prophet said it would be all over his church. There's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Right here in this place, the Spirit is moving. Right here in this place, as the prophet said it would be, right here in his place, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the Good morning and welcome to Kilmarnock and to Church Online Kilmarnock today. On this day that marks the beginning of Christian Aid Week. We're going to be celebrating the work of Christian Aid this morning as we remember some of the poorest people in the world and give thanks that we're able to do something about that. So thank you for joining us this Christian Aid Week as we help to turn hunger into hope. Because with every gift, every action, every prayer, we celebrate and share hope with our sisters and brothers facing crises around the world, from the Ukraine to Zimbabwe. Above city streets, over country fields, amidst rocks, and stone trickles tinkles tickles springs a word a voice a solo crying in the wilderness no polishing pebbles beauty wells from deep Beneath Earth's privilege. I hate, I despise your religious festivals. A thought seeps subversive through cracks, over rocks, over barren land. Watering, nourishing, enlivening, inspiring. Breathing in the dream that things can be different, that things should be different, that things must be different. Crystal clear, a stream of living water. Confluence, convergence, concourse. I hate, I despise your religious festivals. I hate, I despise your empty words. Fill, your cup overflows. Your cup overflows. Now thunders a mighty roar. Voices come together. Flow together. Join together. In harmony. All creation joins. Merge. All creation groans. As one longs for fulfillment. Flowing inexorably. Torrential. Unstoppable. Rapids disrupt. Interrupt the way things are. Disrupt. Disorder. Disturb. No. Flooding. Flourishing. I hate. I despise. Your religious festivals. Justice rolls. Justice flows. Justice courses. A river. An unending stream. Thunder. Cascading. Crying. Singing. Justice. justice. We have a voice. We have a voice. 
When we sing together, a line is drawn and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. We heard the cries of distant neighbors, the dispossessed, the refugee, and God's command to feed the hungry and set them free. the word, the new commandment, and we reclaimed the prophet's call, to love the world without condition, God's love for all, God's love for all, I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a voice, when we sing together, Please join me now in prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we come to you remembering all that we have seen, all that we have learned and all that we have done during this last week. We know, Lord, that you are with us every moment of each of these days, every step of the way, through the happy times and the sad times, the difficult and the easy we thank you, Lord, for the help we get from those closest to us, for their encouragement and kind words, and from those who patiently point us in the right direction. But we often forget to say thank you and take for granted the care and the love of others. Forgive us, living God, and help us to keep our eyes fixed on our Lord Jesus and to love one another as he loves us. We know, loving God, that whoever we are, you accept us. Whatever we do, you love us. And whenever we fall, you lift us up. And Lord, in this week that lies ahead, help us to trust in you. Speak to our hearts and help us to be your church, your children, filling your world with your love. And hear us now as we pray together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hello, boys and girls. Today, I've got various hats I'm going to wear that people might wear. Let's see if you can recognise and perhaps have a guess to see who it might be. Here's the first one. What do you think? Have you got it? A construction worker. Yes, of various natures. The next one. Perhaps a golfer. Here's the next one. What do you think of that one? Quite difficult, maybe? A fisherman's hat, perhaps. Here's one that might be a bit easier. Something you may all do. A cycling hat. Here's another one. Maybe a wee bit more difficult again. Look at the words on that one. It might be somebody that has a boat or a yacht and they're the captain that looks after that. Here's the next one. Might recognise this character. Who's that? That's my goofy hat. That might be a comedian or a cartoonist. And as we've just seen, we can recognise various people by what they wear. How might we recognise a group of Christians though? That's right. Christians wear different kinds of clothing. It's not that easy to tell right away. However, in our Bible reading today from the Gospel of John, Jesus said that there's one thing that would let others know that we are Christians. Jesus said that if we had love for one another, people in the world would be able to tell that we are Christians. Others can't tell that we follow Jesus by how we love each other. Jesus did say, by this Shall we know you are my disciples if you love one another? So let's pray this week and ask God to help us love each other so that others would recognise us as Christians and want to know about Jesus and his love. So go out and tell others about the amazing things that Jesus has taught us. I'll see you all soon. My life flows on in endless song Above earth's lamentation I catch the sweet though far of him That hails a new creation No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging Since love is Lord of heaven and earth How can I keep from singing? Through all the tumult and the strife I hear that music ring Finds an echo in my soul How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging Since love is Lord of heaven and earth How can I keep from singing? But though my joys and comforts die, the Lord my Saviour liveth. 
What though the darkness around me close, songs in the night he giveth. No storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging. Since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep? of Christ makes flesh my heart, a fountain ever springing. All things are mine since I am his, how can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm clinging, since love is Lord of heaven. Please join me in prayer. O oh God, our loving Father, help us to make the best of starts to this Christian Aid Week. Help us to care enough to make a difference. Help us, Lord, to stand with the poor, to be a voice for those who have no say. Help us to challenge those who believe the problem of poverty is too vast to make any difference. Help us to have the courage to go in your name and ask others to help the poor and the hungry of this world. And then, Lord, help us to be generous with our care and with our time. Lord, we begin this week by recognising that we have made mistakes, that we've been so concerned about our own wealth and our own well-being that we have at times ignored the poor and the needy. Father, forgive us for the times when we've let you down. Forgive us if our lives have not radiated your love. And Lord, on this day, when our focus is on the work of Christian aid, help us to turn hunger into hope. And so Lord, bless us this day with your love and with your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our first reading comes from the Old Testament, from the book of Psalms, Psalm number 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from heaven, you that live in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels, all his heavenly armies. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, shining stars. Praise him, highest heavens and the waters above the sky. Let them all praise the name of the Lord. He commanded and they were created. By his command, they were fixed in their places forever and they cannot disobey. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea monsters and all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, strong winds that obey his command. Praise him, hills and mountains, fruit trees and forests, all animals, tame and wild, reptiles and birds. Praise him, kings and all peoples, princes and all other rulers, girls and young men, old people and children too. Let them all praise the name of the Lord. His name is greater than all others. His glory is above earth and heaven. He made his nation strong so that all his people praise him, the people of Israel, so dear to him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. <laughs>
is thy dwelling place, O Lord of hosts, to me. My soul is longing and fainting, the gods of the Lord to see. My heart and flesh, they are seen. reading from John chapter 13 and at verse 31, the new commandment. After Judas had left, Jesus said, now the Son of Man's glory is revealed, and now God's glory is revealed through him. And if God's glory is revealed through him, then God will reveal the glory of the Son of Man in himself, and he will do so at once. My children, I shall not be with you very much longer. You will look for me, but I tell you now what I told the Jewish authorities. You cannot go where I am going. And now I give you a new commandment. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. And if you have love for one another, then everyone will know that you are my disciples. Amen. When I needed a neighbour, were you there? Were you there? When I needed a neighbour, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name won't matter, were you there? I was hungry and thirsty, were you there, were you there? I was hungry and thirsty, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name won't matter, were you there? I was cold, I was naked, were you there, were you there? I was cold, I was naked, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name won't matter, were you there? When I needed a shelter, were you there, were you there? When I needed a shelter, were you there? And the creed and the colour and the name won't matter where you there. When I needed a healer, were you there? Were you there? When I needed a healer, were you there? And the creed and the 
Prayers of thanksgiving and for others. Let's pray together. Compassionate and loving God, we give thanks for the work of Christian aid, for the projects too numerous to mention and for the difference these works make to communities across our hurting world. We give thanks for Christian Aid Week, for all who give their time, talent and resources and we thank you for the opportunity to focus and learn so much of the desperate need and of the compassionate works that are witness to the risen hope of Jesus in these communities. Compassionate Heavenly Father, as we learn more about the challenges facing others, may their stories make us hungry for justice and even more impatient for change. We give thanks for all we have. Lord, help us to take this opportunity to share our resources with a loving and compassionate heart. May we increasingly become respectful caretakers of our environment, including the waters so easily enjoyed and taken for granted. May we regard more highly the elements upon which our lives depend. Might we, with greater gratitude, enjoy and honour the refreshing water that we can so easily access. We remember the millions who do not have access to clean drinking water a necessity of life. Might we challenge and change the systems we all enjoy that would bring about a transformation globally, allowing more to be able to drink clean water. Lord, guide us to do our part to help provide cold water to all who seek it, out of love, care and generosity. Lord, we lift up in sadness and hope all those who will die due to unclean and polluted waters. Loving Lord, we pray for those known to us who are healing, those in hospital, those in prison, those dis depressed and discouraged, those who are lonely and isolated for a whole variety of reasons. We hope for the day when all tears are dried and all pain is abandoned. So our prayers are for those who weep today, for whom the loss of someone they love, or their battle with illness in body, mind or spirit, or the adversities in their daily living, weigh heavy and are perhaps at times too much for them to bear. Through the heartache and loss, may they sense you with them. May they know your loving, healing touch. We hope for a day when nation will no longer fight with nation, when the animosity between peoples will come to an end. So we pray for those who wage war, for politicians, military leaders. We pray for those in the front lines and those innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. We pray for those for whom bombing, gunfire and smoke have become their normality their daily trauma. Sovereign Lord, through this unimaginable trauma, may they feel your peace, that peace which is beyond our understanding, that peace that can only come from you. We hope for a day when every one of those who seek to follow Christ will be truly united as one, when nothing will divide the body. So we pray for those who struggle to love their fellow Christian, for those who wrestle with feelings of anger or disappointment. For those who find it hard to accept the differences and the changes facing our churches today. Lord, we pray for your church across the nations. We pray for our presbytery and our own dearly loved church family. 
We pray with love and care for our own minister and for all in ministry at this incredibly challenging time of change and recovery from the global pandemic. Heavenly Father, would you protect, equip, strengthen and take care of each and every one of them. Loving, compassionate, caring Heavenly Father, hear all these our prayers and concerns of our heart. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. your church disturb our slumber move us to action to show your kingdom on the earth make us like jesus full of your spirit declaring good news to the poor proclaiming freedom for every kind our message today. Throughout the country this week, an army will be mobilised and sent to towns and streets and doors in every community far and wide. And it's an army of volunteers with one thing in common. Their faith moves them to make a difference. So this week, this Christian Aid Week, ordinary people will each be doing a little thing that together makes a huge difference. And you are very much part of that great movement this week too. Whether you're delivering Christian aid envelopes or supporting this week through your own gift 
and your prayers. For Christian Aid Week has a huge impact throughout the whole country because it's a statement, a statement that we care and what a powerful statement that is. It was a German atheist who said, show me that you are redeemed and then I'll believe in your Redeemer. And I think he had a valid point. We talk plenty about loving our neighbour, but Christian Aid Week is a wonderful opportunity to show that love in action. Because it's not just about raising the money, it's also about making that visual statement, a statement which says that we care enough to do something about it. And it's a statement which says that what we do, we do in Jesus' name. It's also about raising awareness in others, challenging them to think about their neighbours in need. And the followers of Jesus are not going to speak up for the plight of the poor and the need of our brothers and sisters. Then who is? And those who turn a blind eye to world poverty, those who see the Christian aid collector and then turn in the other direction, those who today argue that charity really begins at home, and those who won't give even a little to make a huge difference, well, they need the challenge of that little red envelope. And that army of Christian aid volunteers is sending a very clear message, not just about world poverty and the climate change that intensifies it, but a very clear message about why they're doing it. It is aid in Jesus' name. Show me that you are redeemed and then I'll believe in your Redeemer. Christian Aid Week is a huge and a powerful moment of witness when churches stand together and offer hope. It's a time when we share a message and give hope to some of the poorest in the world. And it's a visual statement of the love we proclaim. And so the volunteers who this week will raise money for Christian Aid Go with our prayers and our encouragement and our support. For they go in Jesus' name, making a clear statement and a huge difference. Here's Janet's story about the difference Christian aid has made to her life and her family. Meet Janet Zurugo, mother of 10, grandmother of 28, great-grandmother of 8. The four generations of Janet's family, Junior Kadore, great-grandson, Patience Muzengeza, granddaughter, Chipo Zurugo, daughter, Janet Zurugo. Janet's love for her family keeps her going, even in the hardest times. Janet has seen many changes in her lifetime. When we were children, we didn't worry about the challenges ahead. Janet has lived through extreme hardship. Drought has ravaged her village, leaving her community hungry. In the drought, we ate things we wouldn't normally eat. My heart was so painful thinking that my family would die. By God's grace, they did not. Thanks to kind people like you, Janet was given training and drought-resistant seeds. Janet has learned the best techniques to farm in dry land, and her garden has flourished. 
This project has changed our lives for the better. What makes me happy is to see my family strong and well fed. Janet has become successful through the opportunities she has seized. She is now able to provide for her family. I take them to school because I dream that if they have a good education, they will look after me in the future. God be with me and my family. Please look after them, Lord. Look after my livestock, my husband, and me too. Give me strength to fend for my family.
acceptable in your sight, oh.